The following podcast may contain adult language and an abundance of salt. So get ready, nerds, because we're talking about Invasion, Episode 5, Going Home. And Nowhere. So they contain adult language and an abundance of no aliens at all. None. <laughs> uh, welcome, everybody, and thank you for joining us on today's episode of the Salty Nerd Podcast. We're talking the new Apple TV show, Invasion, episode five, Going Nowhere. And I'm joined, as always, by my fantastic panel of nerds. Matt Vader 74 is here, oh, putting God. us out on Twitter spaces. Welcome, sir. How you doing, bro? Buddy? This show. This show, dude. Is it ever going to get good? I don't think so. It's such a slow roll, man. It's not even slow. It's just nothing. We just get it's uh, going nowhere. We, we saw like a microscopic squid. That's it. That's all we got. That's all we got this week. A fucking squid. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Jude is also here. Welcome. How are hey, you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm doing. <laughs> it's actually more fun to make fun of this show. It is. Than it's actually why I can't wait to talk about it. Yeah. And the frustrated producer of the show, Matthew Cage. Welcome, sir. Man, talk about a slow burn oh, series. Man. I feel like maybe if they just released all the episodes and let us binge them, it might be better. But like, I'm kind of thinking like, even then it wouldn't have said this is five hours. This is the midpoint of the The season. The midpoint of the season and still nothing has happened. happened. I feel like if I had binged all five of these. Five hours of your day gone. I would walk away being like, what did I do today? (laughs) (laughs) I did nothing. Yeah, I did absolutely nothing. I've, I've, I've never watched a show ever, I don't think. Other than, well, not even, no. Um, this, is, this is like the slowest burn, the, the longest setup. I've, it's like watching Dune, but like it's 10 times longer. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? But Dune, shit happens in Dune. Like cool shit. Well, you, you know, it's funny is in our Discord, someone posted a quote from Sam Neill who said, there's one jaw-dropping moment in every episode. Oh, and I, I was like, the only jaw-dropping moment is when I yawn <laughs> because these episodes are so fucking boring. I, I'm actually kind of mad at Sam Neill right now because I used to kind of he like He hoodwinked us. He's, he's scamming us. Every single episode I've been like, this is the one where Sam Neill comes back and he's been no, body set, he's, snatched. He's, and I'm just, I don't know I, why I insist on trying to make this relationship work. I don't know. I still love the man, but I'm a shill for Sam Neill. So what, what else is new? I feel like like everyone that I know wants me to break up with this show. <laughs> but I'm like, no, but it's, it's a really good guy. <laughs> you guys don't know him like I do. All yeah. right. Before we got, dive into this uh, episode, heavy spoilers and all that nonsense. Again, normally I would say go watch the episode and then come watch us. But yeah, honestly, but just watch our podcast. It's way more fun. Uh, before we do that, we're going to take a quick break. We'll listen to some sponsors. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Hey, if you want to support the podcast, go to saltynerdclub.com. That is where you are going to get a fantastic amount of content from us. That's all four exclusive podcasts every single month on top of blooper reels, behind-the-scenes photos, Discord access, ad-free podcasts. Everything that we put out on our Patreon is 100% ad-free. And if you don't want to do that, we would really appreciate it if you go to Apple iTunes and leave us a five-star review. We are trying to get accredited with Rotten Tomatoes. We need 200 reviews um, to submit our application for that, so we'd really appreciate it if uh, you can do that for us. Five-star review leave it let us know that you do it we'll share it on social media as a big old thank you we really appreciate the support i think we might even read some of them uh live uh, yeah you guys are trying to pressure me into yeah, doing that yeah stroking myself off on that's the, right man a uh, five-star review read it here <laughs> on the podcast <laughs> i think it's a great idea we'll do a special like a uh, show just reading five-star reviews that'd be fun i kind of want to read the one-star reviews. i was we, just oh, gonna we, say we, those are Certainly hilarious but we, don't, but we don't want to encourage that no we don't know uh, yeah. <laughs> apparently we're worse than a jar of cork yeah <laughs> I or think just, you know, I, if somebody told me that that was Mangold, I would have 100% believe it. That's high praise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Worse man. Worse than a jar of corks. Worse than a jar of corks. Jars of corks are awesome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get into Invasion, Episode 5. Mr. <laughs> are we going to Myth- actually talk about the show? Maybe. Or do we just want to, like, fuck with it for 30 minutes? We might fuck with it for 30 minutes. <laughs> Take it away, Kadish. All right. So for those of you out there who haven't seen our previous episodes, we break this down via character storyline. So it's not an actual breakdown of the show the way it's edited. It's just a breakdown of based on the characters. So the first character we're going to start off with is Trevante Cole. Trevante drives back to his military base to find that it's been so hastily abandoned, you'd think Joe Biden was in charge of the withdrawal. <laughs> Trevante tries to radio his superiors to let them know he's alive, but he gets no response. 
Frustrated, Trevante searches the garbage of the command post to try to find out why the base was abandoned and finds an emergency evacuation order stating unknown hostile contacts are using an unknown corrosive substance against humanity. Trevante then buries his friend Chavez, and while doing so, he tells Chavez that he's going to honor his last request and go back home. Later that evening, Trevante calls his girlfriend, Liara, and lets her know that he is alive and plans on coming back. We get a hint that the reason his girlfriend is such an asshole to him is because he abandoned her for another tour in Afghanistan for some reason. Trevante's girlfriend then tells him that the President of the United States is about to address the nation about some crazy shit that's been happening, and when the President comes on, she tells us that the alien invasion is happening and that she's declaring martial law. After hearing this, Trevante tells his girlfriend to stay safe and that he is definitely coming home. AKA the title of the episode. Nothing. She don't give a shit though. How, no, she <laughs> didn't she tell him not to come home? Yeah. She's like, don't bother. He's like, like the world is falling apart and she's still like, mm, I'm kind of mad at you. And I don't know if we're like, <laughs> going to get enough space for you to come home. Bitch. <laughs> the, the world is ending. <laughs> get over it. He's alone. With a gun. In a There's, desert. He's a soldier. Of course you want. And there are aliens. Oh, there's giant space squids. Are there, though? You can't yeah, are suppose, there? Supposedly there are aliens. Because we have not seen any proof of this at all. Why am you I just slurring can't, my words? You can't words? just table your bad mood till he gets home. Oh, yeah. like, That's weird. Anyway, um, I, for a minute, for a minute, I thought this show was going to be cool. And his buddy was gonna like wake up like he's like a zombie I or kept something. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, he's gonna wake up. He's gonna wake Giving up. Giving this show too much credit. <laughs> once, once again, nope. <laughs> the writers suck. <laughs> it's like make him wake up. Do something. Make him make a little squid. It's literally, it's make a that, little squid thing. Like control his brain. <laughs> or like just have just have have him dead in the back seat, and Trevante's driving. And then, and like, like no, just still dead, but have one of them squid things come out of his eye and just like go oh, yeah. somewhere else. Fucking Dude. creepy. Yeah. yeah. Give me some. Thanks, no, man. Like that. That'd be great. No. Why this, aren't you in the writer's room? This is literally like. I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> this is that meme where like the, the cartoon character is poking the dead thing with the stick, like do something. Yeah. That's us with this show. Yeah. <laughs> it's, so, it's like, are you alive? <laughs> are you? <laughs> Quit boring me. <laughs> I want my five hours back. This, like we got how many for many minutes of this guy just trekking through an abandoned building and like maybe picking up some clues. Yeah, we could we could have got like this whole Trevante thing in like thirty seconds and moved on to the next story. This whole his whole storyline so far for this five it's episodes terrible. could have been one episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Well, that's how we're gonna rewrite the show. Yeah. <laughs> Trevante gets one episode. Yeah, and now we're done. <laughs> Well, that well, was, <laughs> you know, the thing that really took me out of this episode is when they introduced um, the, you know, femme president. Really? Why yeah. are you so bothered by that? Be- because it it just it was something where it was so blatantly political, like like you know, yeah. pan- pandering to you know intersectionality that it just took me out of the the, the show, and I, I was just like, really, like it, like you had to make the president a woman it didn't for me messaging in the least. It, 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 I it, think it, you're it, being a little too sensitive. It, it didn't yeah. bother me, but I get I get exactly get what he's saying. Sure. I really do. I mean, that that it's like oh, of course the president's a woman. Of course she is. Well, that's like you, you know that, whatever. You know, the, Other me, shows have had lady presidents before, yeah. and it's not a fucking big deal. The fucking Air yeah, Force sure. One. Yeah. Well, I think if they had kind of set it up beforehand, but yeah. it's like she go, goes to address the nation and it's just like, and now the female president of the United oh, States. Stop. No, That's no, not I, what I, no I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, like, if, if maybe like one episode they'd had like a mention of like, oh, wow, can you believe that there's a woman president or something like that? What? It wouldn't have been no. so jarring then for me. Then you would have been pissed off a yeah, few that would have been Yeah, that would have been more obnoxious than this. Yeah. That didn't bother me at all. This I, did not. I, I, I'm just saying this came out of left field for me and it took me out of the episode. Mm. Well, I get it. Were you I do, I get it. I'm with you, man. took you hey, out listen. of it and got you away from it then? As a fellow toxic male, <laughs> I completely understand what you were saying, man. I really do. I, I get it. Like, I don't give a shit enough about this show I for me I'm, to be pissed at this. I think I'm using my straw wrong. You are. It's you upside are. down. You are. It's upside down. The straw's on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much I'm into the show. I'd rather talk about my fucking straw. It's been like that for hours. Has it? It's been bothering me all day. <laughs> what do I, how do I fix it? You flip it the other way. What do you mean? How do you oh, fix shit. it? Anyway. <laughs> this show brought to you by Upside Down Straw. Give, no. Give it to me. Turn it upside down. I can do it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Get your shit figured out. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Um, Let's get stuff on the table. 
Nothing else happens to this character, right? That's literally all that happens. Or during during the episode. But please continue. <laughs> he, he basically he decide he took all this time to decide. I don't want to be in the desert anymore. I want to go home. Whatever. All right. I got a question for Matt. Yeah. What's piece of shit up to? <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about that yes. asshole. <laughs> okay. We'll talk about him. So I just love how we call him piece of shit. He is it's though. Like my favorite He's part. still a piece of shit in this episode too. <laughs> yeah. The character's name is literally piece of shit. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> <laughs> All right, so the Anisha Malik storyline. At the creepy cabin in the woods, the Mitchells are trying to convince Piece of Shit to go with them to help scavenge for supplies because food is getting low. But Piece of Shit is a total coward, uh -huh. so Anisha yep. decides to go while the others stay safe at the house. Anisha drives to the nearby <laughs> store to find that it's been totally looted just as the military arrives. When she tells them that she's a doctor, she's recruited as a volunteer in exchange for supplies. At the base camp, Anisha takes her sweet damn time scrubbing in and goes to assist her new BFF, a pediatrician named Dr. David Barton, who is trying to close up a major wound on someone who was hit by some supposed shrapnel. However, Anisha sees something weird in the wound and removes some creepy looking alien thing, <laughs> saving the patient's life and freaking Dr. Barton and out. After the president's speech, Anisha is asked to keep helping in the emergency effort, and her new BFF, Dr. Barton, tries to convince her to stay while hinting that he may not be an actual doctor after all. Oh, I didn't pick that up. I didn't pick that up either. I did. He's, <laughs> not, a, he's not a real doctor? <clears throat> well, because when he was like, we swore on Bibles, <clears throat> and she was like, it, it wasn't Bibles. Don't but... Doctors don't swear on Bibles? For the I don't know. I'm not a fucking doctor. For the, hippo, the crapocritic oath or whatever. <laughs> Hippocratic. The crapocritic. God, I just started drinking. <laughs> Hippocratic oath. <laughs> the crapocratic. <laughs> That's a different oath. This, I think lawyers. This, 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 lawyers this, this, like a, a, a African hippos, right? <laughs> the hippo, yeah. hippo oath. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Um, the hippo okay, so piece of shit. This, I was legit upset. I can't wait to Dude's talk about was this. like, um, we're going to go into town <laughs> and we're going to try and get, sound, scrounge some food up. And the husband's like, mm, good luck with that. Maybe, yeah, my you wife, go. <laughs> maybe my wife should go oh, with you. I think bastard. she volunteered because she knew if she sent this piece of shit, he's, gonna he's just not disappear. coming back. Oh yeah, yeah, he would go find baby mama. But also, Let him. she didn't come she back did, either. That's, yeah. I was so pissed off the whole episode. Yeah. I was like, is she abandoning her kid? I the only reason I'm not pissed off now is because I, I looked at what the next episode is about, and it's about her trying to get back to her kids. Well, she fucking left. Well, she left. well she kind of got, she she got she got drafted. Um, uh, how are we hiring doctors in the apocalypse? You just have to say you're a doctor. Oh, I'm a doctor. And they oh. give you a surgery. Yeah. They're like, let's see how she does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. If she pulls this off. She must be the real deal. Yeah. Also, also, a good thirty minutes of this episode was just her scrubbing in. For her yeah, that's true. Yeah. Listen, germs. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they they're setting up something. So we've had the giant. The, we've had the invisible sneezer. Yep. We've had the giant um, mothership sneezer. tentacle sneezer, mm -hmm. and now we have larval stage. We got the one that attacked the Taliban dude in the hospital. Yeah, it was just like a split yeah. second. That's like 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 a xenomorph, yeah, right? Yeah. Medium size. Medium so, size. And, and now we got the larval microscopic ones in yeah. the bloodstream that baby sneezers are probably like you know. <laughs> Baby sneezes. So that's probably I, probably everybody has one of those in them at this point, and, right? And we're gonna get to like the the one that's just like smeared on like a, a driver's seat. Mm. Is, is the mothership the sneezer oh, gonna come in? I forgot about that. Yeah. And we we should point out that all this is happening on Earth. <laughs> yes. On Earth. Yes. On Earth. You know, I haven't don't think I've seen that since the first episode. Right. That ties everything together so nicely. <laughs> Like, I totally forgot it was Earth. <laughs> like, we're, we're in Las Vegas, Earth. Fuck! That puts everything in a different perspective. I also, I also liked how piece of shit was just like, oh, like, my kids might be scared if I'm gone. Oh, oh, oh freaking. So, you mean like you. the other night when you were fucking your pregnant girlfriend or, or and you were going? trying to abandon them? Listen, yeah. Like, yeah. Here's what I want to do, right? I want you to reach out to his people and say, hey, can we interview piece of shit? <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to call him piece of shit. That's how we're going to refer to him. <laughs> We're not going to we attack him. No. We're not, not going to attack like, this so, actor. No, the poor actor has nothing to How do with How does it this. feel to play piece of shit while <laughs> you're, while you're it's, acting? It's just, it's did so you ever actually Both feel, of these, in Did this you a, ever actually feel like a piece of shit yeah. while what, you were portraying What was your role? research for this role? Did oh. you give just a piece like, of look? shit a backstory? <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Both of these parents are terrible in this episode. They're not good. They're just like, nobody's doing I'm good. I'm going to go get some food. Oh, the National Guard well, is here. I'm going to go with them. You know who's winning this episode so far? Is the people in the cabin who didn't have to take these know, right? idiots in. I remember we were like, hey, um, 
maybe these people are like super creepy. Yeah. No, they were completely fine. They're like, but nice not people. Super nice. No, they're cool. Why the fuck did you write nice people into this boring, <laughs> stupid know, right? show? You could have put a couple of serial killers just in a for me. Genuinely kind fuck, old what couple. What am I watching? Hey, we're gonna go try to get some food. You guys can stay here and hang out. It's totally fine. So what would be really cool though is if they turned into be like really crazy people. It's like, man, we gave that bitch our car. That's not gonna happen. And she never came back with our car. No, she I'm, left it at the grocery so store. We're gonna, we're gonna eat their children. That wasn't also, their car though. She she walked back to the car that they stole. Oh, did she? And and oh, used that. Okay. Um, oh, she did. How yeah. many how many days has this happened over? See, I like, feel like it's been like twenty four hours. Yeah, yeah. I feel and like it's been like a day or two. Store yeah, shelves are completely bare already. Well, have you have you remember? COVID. 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 I I just Who? I just I just <laughs> I just got through showing my mom my mother in law who yeah. moved in with us. She's from Oregon in, the, in southern Oregon, very rural. When this all stuff went down last March or whatever it was, mm -hmm. um, they didn't really have the same issues we had here. The the shelves. Well, because city people are stupid. Yeah. So. We're, we're my, me and my wife were talking about saying, yeah, man, there wasn't nothing to buy on the store shelves and all this stuff. And she's all, what? You guys are crazy. I go, no. And I, sh I, I got like a, a series of pictures I took at Smith's mm -hmm. because I couldn't fucking believe that you couldn't buy a box of noodles <laughs> at Smith's. Right. And I'm showing these to her and she goes, man, that wasn't nothing like that in, in Oregon. And this just looked so, like yeah, a convenience weird. store in the middle of yeah. nowhere. So everyone who's passed through has gone in mm. there and just like okay. wiped the shelves clean. Okay. Okay. Any ramen? Where's the ramen noodles? Yeah. <laughs> I still would have picked up what was left of those that rice. Was that a buck of rice? Was, was it Uncle Ben's? Yeah, I think it was some some rice. Rice or cereal or you something. Can, you can last on rice for days. Was it sure. pre-canceled pre Uncle Ben's? When did they film this? <laughs> I don't know. Uncle Ben is canceled now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, you didn't know oh, that? Yeah, yeah. Uncle Ben and Aunt Jemima. <laughs> I knew about They're Aunt gone. Jemima. I didn't land, know about Uncle Lakes Ben. Uh, what did he do? <laughs> did he touch someone? Um, they were just, you know, it's like, how dare you appropriate our people? Uh, yeah. Well, I, I definitely <laughs> think that uh, Dr. Barton um, is, <laughs> is a fake doctor mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. um, like he just gave some hints like, you know, him trying to close up that guy without inspecting the wound and then him saying that like, we swore in the Bible and she's like, no, he didn't. So are you saying that he's... Uh, just some kind of weird government dude, or are you saying that he's an alien? No, I'm I'm saying that he might just be like a fraudster who's yeah. kind of he's like faking his way through. Yeah, so he, he said, he, "Oh, I'm a doctor," so yeah. they take him. So he's he lived. probably a first year medical student, and he's like, "I need some supplies." So well, okay, I'm I'm a doctor. Yeah, yeah he's um, like Leonardo DiCaprio from Catch Me If You Can. That guy was. I good, can though. I concur. I concur. I concur. I concur. Yeah. Um, what did you guys think about the little microscopic squid? Was that a jaw-dropping cool. moment for I you? I thought it was cool. Jaw-dropping? No. <laughs> no. But, uh, you know, I, I, I thought it was kind of an interesting little thing where she was, like, kind of taking it out with her exacto knife. It was the only and, part and, of And then his heartbeat was going... Beep, 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 yeah, you, you it was know, freaking it was, out. And then as soon like, as she took it out... It went back to normal. Oh, you saved his life, Dr. Ajibi. Meanwhile, his gaping wound is still open. So you... Let me tell you, Dr. Piece of Shit. Um, <laughs> you did a really good Dr. job. Dr. Mrs. There. Piece of Shit. Dr. Yeah, Mrs. Mrs. Piece, piece of Shit. shit. Yeah, that's right. And uh, yeah, I thought it was cool. It's like we've so the, we've established that we have squids. Yep. Mm -hmm. The aliens are squids. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So as jaw dropping of a moment as this was, I do think that it would have been cooler if the alien had fucking done something. I know, right? It just laid like there. Like she's poking it with a scalpel and it's just like, mm. Mm. <laughs> but uh, and I kept expecting it to be like, and like jump yeah, on her yeah. face, like a- Like fucking, a hugger. Yeah, like an octopus. Like a face hugger. Oh, that would've been really cool. A face it hugger? Like, if it like happened. jumped up and like went up her nostril or yeah. something. Yeah. Like in fucking alien. Yeah, that would've been badass. So one of our Discord members put a meme out there. It was freaking genius. It was a Jurassic Park meme where Ian Malcolm was going in the camera. He's like, so do you eventually have uh, invasions <laughs> in your invasion TV show? I, I, was, I, I freaking died I laughing, that. dude. It was genius, genius. Uh, yeah, this movie's, or this show, freaking so boring. Uh, Katis, what do you think about the little squid thing? I think it would have been better if it had been played by Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> I agree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, hey, uh, wait, you know, wait, wait, wait. You wanted the alien to be played by Mark Wahlberg? Yeah. Mark Genius. Wal Mark Wahlberg to play every character in this show. <laughs> Him and his brothers. <laughs> yeah. Just make it a Wahlberg show. It's like, hey, quit quit poking me with that scalpel. What are you poking me on? Huh? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> can't do it this time. I can't do it. Do I, do I come to your house and poke you? <laughs> I'm not drunk enough to do that know, yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there. I, this, We're this, working this, on this. it. I drink got half a gallon of Tito's I got to get through. So yeah. like, who are you? I'm the alien who's doing his job. <laughs> <laughs> you must are be you? the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's, what's, that's it. That's literally it for that character. What's the next character storyline? All right. Nothing. So All we, the, we all got the dumb kids. Yeah. Oh. We got Casper Morrow. 
Uh, Casper and his friends come upon an abandoned delivery truck filled with food and water and start picking out. <laughs> but while his friends are eating, Casper investigates the front cab to find no sign of the driver, but some weird alien goo on the passenger seat. There's a radio in the cab and Casper calls his friend Alfie to figure out how to get a signal from it. Alfie finds an emergency broadcast before the radio starts freaking out, causing Casper to fight off a seizure. Everyone's favorite bully, Monty, rips the radio out and smashes it before going on a tirade about how terrorists and adults ruin the world. However, the group is starting to get the sense that Monty simply doesn't want to return home. Casper talks to Monty and discovers that what Monty told him previously about his shitty dad wasn't a lie after all. He then tries to convince his group to keep walking, but the group wants to stay in the truck and wait for help to arrive. In the end, Casper, Jamila, Alfie, and Monty leave their group behind to try to find help. Okay, I hate Casper. Or no, what, Monty. I hate Monty. Everybody hates Monty. He's a little dipshit. Mm -hmm. I do not like him. And I'm going to be really mad if they like try to make us like him by the time the show gets over with. All the rest of the kids are like, they belong in like a Willy Wonka movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, oh, I want to go to I don't want to leave the truck, Governor, because I'm eating all this chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, all right, Governor, <laughs> what are you doing over there? <laughs> you know, just like smear chocolate on her face yeah. and shit. I don't want to leave. You eat your pudding if you can't <laughs> eat your meat. Yeah, right. <laughs> and we got a truck full of chocolate over here. <laughs> We could last here forever. Let's go get dark, Sue. We can't leave. Can't leave. Let's go get dark. Literally, like when I'm listening to the kids like talk, I, I'm like, this is an old white Americans version of how like young mm -hmm. UK kids talk. I know. Like, like it, it's so like just in your face. Like, hey, governor, like have a wank, you know, or something like that. Like, it's just uh. apparently the F word is like part of British culture from the time you're five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like you fucking winka. Yeah, I love it. I love it. You know, it's like it's all good. I didn't give two shits about this storyline. By the way, breaking news: it was Minute Rice. Minute Rice. Yeah. Oh, we just so, watched I it. Know, okay. I know yeah. you're on the edge of your seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, wow, man, she really should have grabbed that box. No of racial rice. overtones of Minute Rice. So, you know, we're, good. <laughs> we're good. Thank God. <laughs> God damn. Well, it is white rice. Oh, I was just going to say. It's white rice, not brown rice. Oh, <laughs> those freaking shows. It's non binary rice, though. So. Non binary. <laughs> it's totally safe to eat. It's offensive to nobody. Is it pre transition or post transition? Oh, God, stop non -binary it. Non binary rice. Stop it. Took it. Too far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Damn it. This storyline, more than any, has me wondering like, where is this going? I like, like, it's, it's not just, going it's anywhere. Just kids so apparently, around. the kids are just going to wander around in their well manicured asphalt trails. Through the, through the British every, back country. Every single storyline is just like a ping pong ball, <laughs> like hitting the sides all the way down the hallway. It just goes nowhere. Yeah. It's, one, it's, it's one person with a fucking ping and pong ball what, and a hallway. That's I, this whole show. I want to talk to the editor of this show because he, whoever it is, is trying to make it exciting by cutting storylines off at certain points and then jumping to another storyline, I find that incredibly frustrating. Because it's like, oh, oh, something's happening to, to Casper. He's, he's having a seizure or something cut to freaking some other unrelated thing. Did every Are single actor on this show like suddenly only become available for a day so they had to stretch yeah. all of this nonsense out for an entire Are there, season? Uh, <laughs> it's so, uh, nothing happened. Like literally, I, Not, I watched well, this episode yeah. twice and I was like. This is what happens when white people get bored. We, nothing <laughs> we went to a grocery store. It was empty except for the white rice. And we found a and we found a truck full of chocolate. Chocolate, yeah. That, that saying something. And and somebody decided there's some, they, there's some subtle message. Somebody there. decided they wanted to go home. <laughs> They're like, you know what? I don't want to be in an abandoned military base. I'm going right. to go home. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's I'm sure there are a lot of Americans in Afghanistan that want to go home. <laughs> well, they did a couple months ago. <laughs> very, Wait, is there very hastily? Who else is left? <laughs> oh, we got the Jas Jasa storyline, right? Who? Yeah, but. Oh. Oh, yes. But I, I just want to point out that this is the midpoint of the yeah. of the series, and Amen. and typically at a midpoint there's like a big twist. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, that there you know was. propels the show forward, and this one the big twist is the president comes on and acknowledges an alien invasion. Ooh. Okay, hey Matt, I got a question for you though. What's going on with a hot Asian lesbian chick? Oh, <laughs> funny you should ask. Before we get there, I want to ask everyone. Now that we are in the middle of this season and we have all of these very developed characters that we've been investing in Whoa. does anyone know anyone's name i mean Casper, I do. Aisha, piece of shit is it aisha or nope. Asha? 
Anisha. Anisha. Piece of shit. Piece of shit. Husband. Hot, hot lesbian Asian chick. Lesbian. What's chap? her name? Kakiko Kakakaka. Yep. I don't know what the hell name. I don't know. Um, and then the 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 soldier. Tremonte. Something nope. like that. Trevante. Trevante? Okay. Is that from C? I'll allow it. Jalala Fala Falafad or something. I don't, I don't know what Five Trevante episodes. Called. Trevante. What? Yeah, it is Trevante. Trevante? Okay. Yeah, cool. Well, I kind of know their names. Kind of? Well, they haven't done anything. What's Nothing. Piece of Shit's name? I have no idea. No one does. Piece of Shit. It's piece of Shit. <laughs> He's always going to be known as Piece of Shit. He's a terrible, P-O-S. terrible person. I don't even know the kids' names. I don't either. It's uh, Luke. I don't remember that oh my god! Luke Skywalker. Remember the one kid who didn't get a nosebleed? Yeah, that's Luke. That's gonna come in really important. Yeah. As soon as Sam Neil comes back, he's gonna explain <laughs> it all. You know, I wonder if he didn't get a nosebleed because he's got a little squid. He's got a squid, squid inside of him. Squid, squid, squid in his brain. Mm. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh, I don't what, care. Is, what do the squids do? It was like in their abdomen. It was just like locked I think in. It was, in, it was just in his, one of his, I don't know. That guy just random. wanted to go to sushi and <laughs> he had no idea what he was in store for. Speaking of sushi, why don't we get to Mitsuki Yamoto's wow. storyline? Why don't we? I love clam. <laughs> Clams are good. Mitsuki steals her lover Hinata's ID badge and returns to JASA to confront her boss Hashimoto about her discovery on the video of the space disaster. Where Hinata's radio expert father is, is anyone's guess right now, but I suppose it really doesn't matter. You know, who cares about continuity between them? I know, right? Yeah, weren't they both going to go to NASA? Uh, uh-huh. I, I mean, that, that's kind of what they uh, set up, right? <sighs> so Mitsuki convinces Hashimoto to hear her out, and she plays the Wajo audio for him, convincing him that it's possible Hinata could still be alive after confessing to him that she and Hinata were totally gay together. Hashimoto reveals that Jasa determined there was more to the crash as well and plays for Mitsuki a repeating signal determined to be a language with no sound. There are teams of linguists at Jasa trying to figure out what this language is and that the Americans have taken over the investigation with the cooperation of all the different world space agencies. Inspired by Mitsuki's devotion to finding out what really happened and since she can work outside of the American oversight due to previously being fired, Hashimoto gives Mitsuki his ID and tells her to steal the equipment she needs to continue her investigation into the alien signal, hoping that she can find the solution that JASA cannot. More waiting. Because mm-hmm. we were waiting last episode. Oh, we're going to go figure out what the signal means. We're going to go get the equipment. Well, we now know that it means something. You know what's going to be really great? You know, you know what's going to really annoy me? Mm. Is when we get to episode 10... <laughs> And it's going to be awesome. <laughs> I mean, no, I keep thinking that. Gonna and be, I'm going to be so be like, pissed that I wasted <laughs> an entire season to get to one episode. And now it's like, wait till and season it's, and two. It's, and this is going to blow our fucking minds off. You think it's going to be that good? I don't know. I, I don't I have see no idea. how this can redeem itself <laughs> that It's that like, it's like too it's little like, too late, right? It's like, Either it's going to be like we wasted nine hours of our lives to get to like the most amazing episode of television we've ever seen, uh-huh. and we're not going to care. No, <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm going to be upset about. How? What is the know. game plan for this? I have no idea. How are they going to make this cool? Maybe the aliens will win, and we enslave you know the human race. At this and point, we, I fucking hope the then, aliens then, do win because I hate go, all of these people. And maybe next next season it'll be on Squid Planet. And it'll be really cool. No, it'll be all- it won't happen on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> which, is, which is why we had Earth and all the things. We're going, tri- we're going yeah. to a different planet? Yeah. So, the, the, so the all these characters are going to get kidnapped. In, in oh season two. You guys, I just got it. In season two, it'll be Squid Zoo on Zebulon 44. And all these people will planet, be in a zoo? Planet Squid. Oh, we're good. I saved it. Nice. And, and He's uh, been hitting the Capri Suns again. <laughs> uh, I just realized. Yeah. That first episode where they made sure that we knew everything was happening on Earth, they haven't done that since because this is no longer Earth. Oh my God, it's a a simulation. (laughs) On the planet Z. You you know, every time I I hear the Wajo, Wajo. I just keep thinking of Scar Joe. (laughs) Scarlett Johansson? Scarlett Johansson. Hmm. And and I'm just like, what if like this is just like, the big bad is Scarlett Johansson and they're just mispronouncing. She's an alien. I'm now a fan so, of the show. All right, I got. They're, they're going to make the show good. Legit, have a question about the whole like uh, crash space shuttle thing. She, her whole argument was like, if somebody can say a word, that means there was still oxygen in the mm-hmm. contraption, mm-hmm. which means she could still be alive. But I guess. didn't Wad isn't Wajo like a radio transmission that the aliens are sending out? It's not people. People aren't saying Wajo. I feel like we went like. A- there was like some kind of like hidden signal or something in the in the. So so here's something. the thing. So Luke, 
the little boy who's piece of shit's son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So (laughs) he he freaked out and he was able to say Wajo. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the language with no sound, right? So like that was his interpretation of what he was hearing. So it's possible that when whatever impacted the shuttle did that, um, Hinata, who I guess was the one who said Wajo, I thought was part of the signal, but she somehow got the language in her head too and that was her way of verbalizing it so it's it's kind of weird like i don't know how you have language with no sound it's, but listen <laughs> just <laughs> just go with it it's they're vulcans right they just they're mind melding with them and watch all right i, I don't know again. i mean there's sign language that has no sound i think we should make a drink called wajo i'm down called wajo juice can you do that yep okay cool. wajo Next juice week. yeah wajo, wajo juice, juice. It, it, it's, um, it's just slow gen, <laughs> slow gen. <laughs> because the show is very so, slow. So slow and something really bland like yeah. molasses diet, diet sprite it's, it's <laughs> slow gen and molasses <laughs> Blah. Just, it's like, this thing really sucks most boring <laughs> It sucks, and it's the most boring drink ever invented. It's the most boring drink ever made. Wajo juice. (laughs) It's going to be frozen, and you have to suck it through the tiniest straw. (laughs) Like a little Capri Sun straw. And by by the time you drink 10 of them, it really fucks you up. (laughs) Suddenly, Mark Wahlberg is appearing in front of you. Makes you want to leave your wife and kids. You got some of that Wajo juice? Bring it over here. (laughs) Hey, you got to get that Wajo juice over there. What the fuck? I can't, dude. I can't with this show. I was trying to make it interesting. I We're just, only halfway through, there's bro. There's nothing. It's, there's nothing in this the, show. You know what? You know, honestly, honest to God, okay? The best part about this show is us talking about it yeah. every, every week. We get that comment a lot on YouTube. It's, it's, it like, is you guys fun. are awesome, and this show sucks. <laughs> this show fucking blows. I am grasping <laughs> at straws to I'm, find something to I'm, say like, about it. As this. a host, I'm coming into okay. this going, okay, how stop. can I get people to talk about this show? Stop, stop, stop. What? what? I want everybody to go around the table. And say one nice thing about this show. What? Is it give, Thanksgiving? Give us one <laughs> one thing you like about this show. Can we do this? Is it possible that we like one thing about this show? I would say Sam Neill, but they hoodwinked us and they he's fucked, not in the they, show. Yeah, that was, you gotta let that it go. pisses that was, me off. You gotta let it go. The 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 Japanese girl is cute. That you stole mine. Well casted. You stole my thing. Let's, you shouldn't have let him go first. I shouldn't have. <laughs> what, do, you, do you have something you like about the show? I was going to say the hot lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> we all like the hot Japanese lesbian. That's it. She's the one good thing about the show. <laughs> we need a spinoff. Hot lesbian spinoff. With, hey, with the squid. You know hot, what, dude? hot Asian lesbian. If, if it was just her storyline working for the Japanese NASA. Yeah, give me that show. Give me that show. Yeah, I... I find her storyline interesting and I'm following it, but um, like every every other storyline, the only thing I'm, I'm like, did this lady just fucking leave her kids? You know, we, we, we need to have her storyline and we need to have, make it a kung fu movie. Oh, I, I, we need to have some kung fu in there. I, I, I like yeah. that it takes place on Earth. On Earth? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've always wanted to go there. I hate that in an alien movie. Um, Hold on. What if, what if this was just edited differently and like we talked about, each... Each storyline was an episode. Let's just say there's ten characters. I think that would be better. But and I don't we get know we get Cervantes. We get Cervantes' whole storyline from beginning all the way to whatever climax the um, show has in well, mind. Not interested. Eh, okay. Next. I'm gonna skip What's that. Sam Neill. It's over. It's done. It's over. I don't we care. don't know that. Eh, we still have five next. episodes to be proven wrong. Nope. That's, no, a, not, that's not five interested. hours Boring. of content to have Sam Neill come back. Five five hours of him going through racist There's fucking Kentucky jaw dropping moment with, with the, every with, episode with the dude from Yellowstone. How was the Yellowstone, by the way? Was it good? Really good. Okay, cool. That's okay. Way better than the show. <laughs> way better. Way better. I'm than watching the show. it tonight with the wife. <laughs> nice. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we got the piece of shit storyline mm-hmm. with the family drama He's and the. Very, I'm I more like, interested. I would rather see an episode of like how his pregnant girlfriend is navigating. Yeah, I, know, right? <laughs> I was gonna say one good thing about this show were those Instagram pictures of the food. Oh that my they god, showed. those yeah. were great. Yeah, those were those were. Yeah, she's I, that a made me hungry. hell of a cook. Yeah, yeah. I, I, am, I understand why he's leaving Anisha. <laughs> this Terrible. this bitch can cook. Um, I am kind of. I, I like the piece of shit storyline because I like to talk about the piece of shit. He's like the only thing that I find. He is kind so of fun bad in this show. He's at being a, a parent. Idiot. He's such a terrible human being. He was yeah. such a coward oh, yeah. in this episode. Oh, I don't want to go. He's been a coward every episode. No. I don't 
understand why Mandy likes him. I, I mean, every single episode, they take this guy to a notch lower. Yeah. On the piece of shit scale. <laughs> it's unreal. It's unreal how big of a piece of shit this guy Oh, is. I loved it when Anisha left and left the kids with him and kissed her son and was like, you're the man of the house. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I know, right? And I was like, the eight yeah, year old. you know oh. what? Yes, he is. <laughs> He survived alone in the wilderness for like three hours. He's, he's also a ninja. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Just disappears at the moment's notice. I don't know, dude. So, I, I don't know what to say about so this show. So we can't find anything nice except for the hot blonde lesbian yeah. Japanese chick. Okay. Yeah, that's, it. I that's, need, that's it. I need for the seizure kid and Casper. the non-nosebleed kid to get together in the next They're episode. They're on the complete opposite yeah. sides of the planet. Yeah. What planet's that, Alex? Earth. Oh, okay. Earth, yeah. I just, I fucking need it to happen. Like, why are these kids special? So we, we actually have one more storyline. Oh, we do? do we? Oh, which, which one? Uh, Jim Bell Tyson. Who the fuck He's is still that? dead. Who's that? Oh, Samuel's Samuel. still dead. Oh, fuck you. Oh, yeah. It's like, I honestly getting like, who, what are you what? talking about? There's a, did I miss something? Was huh? there a post credit scene? Hey, he's in every poster and commercial for the show. <laughs> oh, he's God. a major character. We have to recap his storyline every episode. He's still I, dead. I get it. He's still dead. In the middle of the crop circle. Still sitting in the middle of the crop circle. Go back to this episode. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny? Is last night I was like I was I went onto YouTube, right? I'm like I'm, and I was like Is, is anybody else talking is about anybody this show? Else, that's why I thought to myself, is anybody else talking about this piece of shit show? And there are a few people. Are there? And they all get more views than us. Of course they do. Right? <laughs> for some reason, <laughs> for some reason, some dude with 15 followers got 6,000 views on his video. But every single one of them slow burn. Why is this show so slow? <laughs> Are there aliens in this thing? Eventually. What's happening with this show? Where is Sam Neill? It's brutal. It's just the show is getting crucified. Yeah. Yeah. And, our, and it's our arch nemesis, Pete Peppers, uh, keeps putting out videos about this. this <laughs> Who the show. fuck is Pete Peppers? <laughs> He's our and, arch nemesis. And why does he have a stupid name like Pete Peppers? <laughs> literally Peppers. never heard of that person. No, he, he's, he's a YouTuber that covers like the same shows we do. Oh, really? I, I don't yeah. know who Pete Peppers is. We should have him on the show sometime. Pete Peppers, and who are you? He gets like 50,000 views. Of course he does. Well, fuck him. That's me. I'm <laughs> fucking coming for you. I'm you down. Seriously, I never heard of the dude. We need to have a collaboration. And he's never heard of us. Probably so not. Whatever. I guarantee you he hasn't heard of us. <laughs> all right. Uh, so that's all it. Right. We're are we all done? We're the storylines. Can we please fix this show? I, I, don't, I don't know, know how. how. Mark I don't Wahlberg. Know. Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. More JCVD. aliens. JCVD. Sure. S set it yeah, in, in Boston. Earth. Earth. Okay. Yeah. I'm on board. Give Mark Wahlberg a gun and have him save Just Boston. Just kill people. Single-handedly. Uh, you, you got a squid in you. Pow! <laughs> <laughs> He's done. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Saved your life. You're dead, now we can all go to you. a barbecue. <laughs> yeah. Say hi to your mother for me. Uh, yeah. All right, that's it. We're going to wrap this up. Um, that's Invasion Episode 5. I think this is the worst <laughs> podcast we've ever recorded. Nothing no happened. Way. This it's, is like so much fun. I love talking so about It's so difficult to talk about this show. <laughs> no, it's not. I love talking about this show <laughs> because it's so fucking bad that we just like talk shit the whole time. Yeah. It's great. Br oh, this is our new C season one. I know. Yeah, brought to you by the guy who made X Men: Dark Phoenix. Oh, uh, arguably the worst movie ever made in the last thirty years. Really? Oh yeah, it's brutal. But worth a watch. Yeah, watch it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> All right, that's it. Vader, where can they find you on the socials, bud? You, you can find me at Matt Vader seventy four on the on the Twitter and the uh, the Instagram and the uh, YouTube and stuff. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jude. You can find me at I am Jude Juju on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Excellent. Matthew Kadish. You can find me at Matthew Kadish, K-A-D-I-S-H on Twitter. Kadishbooks.com takes you to my Amazon page. And check us out on Facebook. We got a group there called the Salty Nerd Podcast. So come and talk to us is on that, Facebook. Is that what it's called? That's what it's called. The Salty Nerd Podcast? Yeah, it's on Earth. On Earth? Yeah. Nice. No, okay. it's everywhere. Oh, gosh. It's going <laughs> it's in, through it's our bodies metaverse. right now. Yeah. It's going through the airwaves. <laughs> I really hate us today. My soul is dead. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on our Discord app. Go to saltinyourdiscord.com. We have way more fun over there than we do watching this show. Uh, join us. We have a, Actually, we have a chat room about this show, which is where that meme came from of like, do you actually have an alien invasions in your alien invasion movie? <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, join us over there. And if you want to, guys, uh, join the club, saltinerclub.com. It's a fantastic community. Uh, it's a great value. You guys get four exclusive podcasts every single month. Uh, it's all ad-free stuff. You get behind-the-scenes photos. You get Discord access. It's a 
It's awesome. I know I'm tooting my own horn, but it's a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun with our club it's members, so join awesome. us. If you don't want to do that, leave us a five-star review if you enjoy our, our antics, and uh, that'll, that'll help us get accredited for Rotten Tomatoes, and it'll help us get screeners and different stuff like that, some perks for being a movie critic. All right, guys, that's it. Stay salty. <laughs> we'll see you next week. <laughs>